Hi everyone, it's Morgan. It is time to work out and I wanted to show you my little workout routine, my treadmill routine. My regular everyday like routinely workouts are mostly just treadmill. So let's get into it. First, I should probably change. Ready? I do have a treadmill at home so my workout outfits are never that cute. It's just whatever I feel like. So today we have leggings and a little like sports bra tank. Sometimes I'll do shorts, sometimes I'll wear a shirt, sometimes it'll literally be sweatpants. You never know. Need to throw my hair up, however. And just Nike tennis shoes. I do sweat really bad though, so let's grab a headband. Like I said, on the regular, I do mainly treadmill workouts. I am a huge, huge 12 to 30 fan, stan, supporter. You may or may not know that by now. Obviously, sometimes I do other workouts. This is just like my main, my go-to, my regular, my routinely workout. Now you may be thinking, Morgan, I already know what the 12 to 30 is. It's pretty self-explanatory. No. I've been doing it for a while where I have gotten to a new routine with it with a little bit of different numbers, a little bit of change, and I do what I call like 12 to 30 advanced. So I've worked up to what I'm going to show you, but I love to use this thing. It's called the Sweet Sweat. I'll show you how it works. So, it's not like a waist trainer where it's supposed to like compress you, but it's supposed to promote sweat. They do sell like creams to put on your stomach before you wrap the sweet sweat around, but I actually just use coconut oil. So you really just rub coconut oil on you. Then you take your sweet sweat and you wrap it tightly around. And then I'll pull my pants up and this over because that's just how they fit. And now I'm sweet sweated up and ready to go to the treadmill. However, I must grab my iPad and my water. Here we go. This is my setup. Big full water, iPad, phone. I really just love the 12 to 30 so much because you can adjust it like however you need to fit your needs simply by the click of a button in so many ways. Like whether you want more or less incline, more or less speed, more or less time. And incline walking is just such a great form of exercise and it actually helped me lose a lot of weight. So I, I just stand by this and I love to watch YouTube, watch Keep It Up With The Kardashians, watch whatever I want and it passes the time. So not only do I love a good walk, I mean I wish it was outdoors, but realistically I can't even go for a walk outdoors right now with this weather in Wisconsin. So I just like, I love this so much and I didn't know that I was going to love it as much as I do and I do. So that being said, let's get started. How I do my numbers is on a lap by lap basis, so I am just going to explain what each lap entails. First, I will get started with the regular 12, 330, so 12 incline and three speed. And that is what I will start with for my lap one. And we will go from there and I'm gonna put on some entertainment. Basically starting with the second lap, I alternate between increasing the speed and the incline by one increment. So lap one is the regular 12 incline, three speed. Lap two, I increase the speed to 3.1. Lap three, I increase the incline to 12.5. Lap four, I increase the speed to 3.2. Lap five, I increase the incline to 13. Lap six, I increase the speed to 3.3. .3. I stay at 13 incline, 3.3 .3 speed until I complete about six and a half laps. It takes me to 1.65 miles and about 31 minutes and 30 seconds. Then I decrease the incline to nine, keep the speed the same. I finish out that lap seven. From here, I start my cool down. So I decrease the incline by one increment every lap, but I keep the speed at 3.3 .3 the whole time until I get closer to four miles. So right before I hit four miles, I end with 4.5 incline and 3.3 .3 speed. Then once I hit four miles, I decrease it to whatever I want for the final, final cool down. So basically I start and I build, 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 and then I have a very long decline and I carry out till four miles. And from there, I just really walk slow, take away basically all the incline, take away basically all the speed and just cool it down. And then I'm done. It usually takes me around 80 minutes. So this is a long workout, but that's how I like it. It's kind of like a mental escape. Oh boy, I'm so sweaty. I feel like my face doesn't look like it because I still have makeup on from earlier today. 
and my cool down takes like freaking forever, but I'm sweaty. I do keep a sweat towel by me. This is actually a really good one. It's from the brand Tessellate, I believe. During my entire walk, one thing that is key that I don't do that is challenging when you're first getting used to this workout is I don't hold on to these handles. When I very first started doing this workout, I did. But as I progress, like you get custom to not doing it. Okay, I'm literally so sweaty that I sweated through my like sweatband thing. Yeah, okay. But workout's complete. I feel great. Every time I get done with my workout lately, I'm like, oh my god, I'm I'm so hot. Like this summer's not ready for me. Like, you know, and that's just the energy we want. And that's why I like this workout so much because I'm not like exhausted right now. And I feel good, like mentally too. So it's just it's refreshing after my workout aside from continued hydration i will go ahead and take this thing off oh it's pretty disgusting sometimes i wait to take it off in the shower because i literally get so sweaty that i like sweat will roll down my stomach and i don't want it to oh yeah i don't want it to like get on the floor and how i clean this thing so it comes in a bag that you can throw it in the washer but you're not supposed to wash it every use so usually i'll take this off in the shower like i just said and i'll like hold it up to the faucet and like make sure it runs down and then i'll take a cloth and like pat it down i don't do any crazy stretches i mean i just do some stretches i should probably get a whole like stretching routine that might be nice but that is like my workout start to finish just kind of what i figured out what works for me and i love it and it still makes me sweat like crazy and it's nice because if you're having an off day or just need to cut it short for whatever reason like you can cut it short you can lessen the speed you can lessen the incline you can customize this however you want and this is where i'm at right now but maybe in the future i'll even up it more once i'm like more in shape i am just the biggest 12 to 30 supporter and i credit this a lot to losing weight recently like a lot a lot because this is the main workout I would do and I don't belong to a gym so because I have a treadmill at home which I'm so appreciative of it's perfect for me thank you so much for watching if you've never tried out the 12 through 30 of any kind I highly highly encourage you to do so let me know what your thoughts on it if you love it just as much as I do I would love to bond over it um yeah thanks for watching make sure to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in my next one